Welcome back to another episode of Twisted News, where we bring you some of the strangest cases from all around the world. First up, we're going to be looking at a family day hike that ended in tragedy, and then a 47-year-old disappearance down in Georgia that just got some new leads. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted News. Number 1. The Mariposa Hiking Tragedy In the dense Sierra National Forest, nestled by the South Fork of the Merced River, is an area known as Devil's Gulch. It's beautiful there and has some treacherous trails, but if you can make it, it's worth the hike. But in August of 2021, it became known for something more than its picturesque landscape. It became the site of a tragic and puzzling mystery. 45-year-old Jonathan Garish and his wife, 30-year-old Ellen Chung, and their infant daughter, Aurelia, lovingly referred to as Miju, dwells their loyal dog, Oski, embarked on what was supposed to be a pleasant summer hike. Two days after they were last seen on August 17th, the family, including Oski, were found lifeless in the heart of the forest. The Mariposa County Sheriff's Office initially struggled with the cause of death. Theories ran rampant, with speculations ranging from toxic algal blooms to carbon monoxide poisoning and illegal drug consumption. However, in October, Sheriff Jeremy Breeze confirmed the tragic reality hypothermia, and probable dehydration. But it was the contents of Jonathan's phone, returned after being with the FBI for multiple months, that gave a heartbreaking glimpse into the family's final hours. Over a four-hour span on August 15th, the family would go on to take 17 photos. These captured moments of joy, awe, and exploration, shots of the winding trails, the flowing river, and intimate family moments. However, the final image was not of nature or of a smiling family, but a screenshot from a trail app indicating their exact location around the Savage Lundy and Heights Cove trails. A witness account placed the family on the Heights Cove trail on the same day, embarking on a seemingly innocuous 2.2-mile walk. The conditions seemed ideal initially, with temperatures in the gentle mid-70s, but as they transitioned onto the Savage Lundy Trail, the environment turned hostile. They faced a steep incline where temperatures soared between 107 to 109 degrees, exasperated by high elevation and the glaring absence of shade. Desperation set in by noon. Jonathan's phone revealed failed attempts to send at least six text messages and make several phone calls. The heart-wrenching text sent at 11.56 a.m. read, Can you please help us? On Savage Lundy Trail heading back to Heights Cove Trail. No water, overheating with baby. Unfortunately, the isolation of the trail and the lack of cell service rendered their pleas for help unheard. When they were discovered, they had with them an 85-ounce water bladder, their only source of hydration. No other water containers or filtration systems were present, emphasizing their unpreparedness for the severe conditions they faced. In the wake of the revelations, the tragedy became fodder for baseless speculations and rumors propelled by armchair detectives and some true crime enthusiasts. However, friends and loved ones rallied against the negative assumptions. A close family friend responded to the speculations with a plea for understanding, urging them to pray for peace for the families and keep your assumptions to yourselves. Sheriff Brees acknowledged the diligent efforts of all those involved, stating, Their dedication has allowed us to close this case and answer lingering questions the family had, bringing them a little peace. Both Jonathan and Ellen had promising futures. Jonathan, a software engineer at Snapchat, and Ellen, aspiring to be a family and marriage therapist, had dreams of raising Miju in a serene environment surrounded by nature. Sadly, though, nature and its unpredictability had other plans. Number 2. 
The Unsolved Mystery of Kyle Klinkscales. LaGrange, Georgia is like many other towns in America, quiet, community-oriented, and bound by shared experiences. It's a place where neighbors know each other and families grow old together. However, for over 47 years, this town held a secret so profound it became the stuff of legends. Kyle Kling Scales was the sort of young man most would describe as full of potential. A student at Auburn University in Alabama, he was a sports enthusiast and was on the cusp of deciding what direction to take in his life. But on a cold night in January of 1976, the 22 year old set out on a journey from his part time job at a bar in LaGrange to Auburn University, a drive he never completed. That night began a heart-wrenching quest for his parents, Louise and John. Their world became a blur of search missions, drained lakes, and thousands of bumper stickers with their son's face pleading for any shred of information. The Kling Scales house in LaGrange bore a testament to their relentless hope. Among the family portraits was a place set at the dining table where a spare car key lay, left out for Kyle just in case he returned was a poignant symbol of their unwavering belief that one day their boy would come home. As the years rolled on, the Kling Scales used their pain as a catalyst to help others. They became advocates for families of the missing, driving awareness and even catching the attention of then-President Ronald Reagan. But the ache of their personal tragedy was never far from the surface. For Louise and John, theories about their son's disappearance abounded. Did he perhaps feel he was somewhat of a burden in some way and chose to vanish? Yet, nothing at his apartment indicated such a notion. The reality was that every lead and every hopeful moment met a dead end. As years turned into decades, the tormenting question of what happened to Kyle remained unanswered. But then, in December of 2021, an unexpected discovery was made. A motorist traveling on a two-lane road in Cassette, Alabama, noticed the rear end of a rusted vehicle protruding from a creek. And inside, the beat-up 1974 Ford Pinto lay an ID belonging to Kyle Klingscales, as well as skeletal remains. Suddenly, the town's oldest cold case was revived, bringing a mixture of relief and sorrow. And Discovery, although grim, provided a semblance of closure to a mystery that had gripped LaGrange for nearly half a century. The tragic irony, though, was that this closure came too late for Louise and John, who had passed away in 2021 and 2007, respectively. Yet, the community was there to remember, to mourn, and to finally lay Kyle to rest. Kyle's remains were brought back to LaGrange, and in Chatillon Cemetery, he was laid to rest between the graves of his loving parents. Kyle Klingscales had found his final resting place. It's widely believed that likely he had fallen asleep, just drove his car off into the woods, and it was never seen again until that motorist came by. It's a somber reminder that sometimes mysteries do get solved, but not always in the way or timeline that we hope for. But at least, finally, this dark mystery finally had some truth shine on it. So there were two of the scariest and strangest news stories that we have for you today. I'm Andrew, and I want to thank you for tuning in. If you like this, please check out some of our other videos, and do remember to subscribe. Thanks to all our current Patreon supporters. Remember, you can always support us there. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.